Hey guys, Rich here with a quick tip for assembling a 3D printer on the x-axis. Um, this specific kit is the Prusa i3 Mark III, um, the genuine kit from Joseph Prusa. Uh, however, I think this would probably apply for any of the i3 clone type printers that have this type of x-axis setup where you have uh, two end blocks and two smooth rods with linear bearings in between. And the issue that I've run into, by the way, uh, no issues at all with inst uh, with assembly up to this point. Uh, but when I reach this point, I'm having a really hard time just getting the blocks to push onto the smooth rods all the way. And honestly, you could you probably could brace one of these sides, like this end block, up against a wooden surface and tap this side with a rubber mallet on the flat face and get it on and be okay. But I'm nervous about potentially driving the rods unevenly into this block um, or uh, potentially breaking this piece at the end. So I just wanted to share the idea I came up with and this is admittedly probably overkill But I went out to my garage and I grabbed a 24 inch clamp and I have just a piece of MDF as a block on this side So I'm smoothly applying force and you want to make sure that if you do use a clamp to do this that you line up uh, on the on the the, the center here, so uh, Notice I've got my clamp centered between the two rods. And I've also got it centered roughly um, on the uh, on the center of the, the smooth rods this way and in my case the rods seated just fine on one end but on this side they do not want to seat all the way and you can see you're supposed to see the rod through these holes here and as you can see there's there's no rod there I think the rods probably run somewhere around like here and on this side what I did is this is just a, a piece of a handle of an old broom and I just cut a flat side into it so that I could place the clamp firmly on there. And I even put a little bit of masking tape on there just to try and avoid marking up the this 3D printed piece that the kit comes with. And what I've been doing is just gently tightening this down and rather than smacking this with a hammer uh, that smoothly and evenly applies the force and squeezes these into these end blocks. And I'm surprised, it's taking a good amount of force uh, to to get it in there, but it is, it is sliding in. So again, just wanted to share a quick tip. Uh, this would probably work for um, any 3D printer. Uh, this is not my first 3D printer. Um, I have a pretty heavily modified ANET A8 and I believe I used a similar uh, procedure when I printed new end blocks for that one and slid those smooth rods in. Um, thanks for watching. Hope this, uh, hope this tip helps you out and uh, hit that subscribe button.